Hello, welcome back to this video series on area of a triangle. In this video, we shall look at the area of a slanted triangle. Previously, on area of a triangle, we had a slanted triangle ABC and a rectangle ABDE as shown. There was a question. Is the area of the new triangle ABC half of the area of rectangle ABDE? You did a GeoGebra activity to explore the answer to the question. If you have not done it yet, please go to the previous video to do it. So, the answer to the question is Yes! The area of the new triangle ABC is half of the area of rectangle ABDE. Therefore, the area of the new triangle ABC is equal to half times 3 cm times 4 cm, which is equal to 6 square centimeters. In this case, Rectangle ABDE is still the related rectangle of triangle ABC. Triangle ABC and its related rectangle share a common side AB. So AB is the base of triangle ABC. EA is the other side of the related rectangle. So EA is the height of triangle ABC. The height is perpendicular to the base. And the area of the triangle is still equal to half times base times height. Let's extend the base AB like this. We can then move the height like this. Notice that now, the height starts from C, which is the vertex of the triangle that is away from the base of the triangle, and goes all the way down to the line that is extended from the base AB. The height is perpendicular to this line. Note that the base is still AB only. This extended part is not part of the base of triangle ABC. Let's look at an example. The diagram shows a triangle GHJ. Find the area of triangle GHJ. Can you see the right angle? Notice that this side of the triangle is perpendicular to the line that starts from the other vertex, J, of the triangle. So, these are the base and height of triangle GHJ. The grey part is not part of the base. Let's draw the related rectangle to confirm. So, GH is the base of triangle GHJ. And this is the height of triangle GHJ. This is also the height of triangle GHJ. The height is perpendicular to the base. So, the area of triangle GHJ is equal to half times base times height, which is equal to half times 6 meters times 20 meters, and that is equal to 60 square meters. Note that when we draw the related rectangle of a slanted triangle ABC, it should start from one side of the triangle like this. And then, this is the base. And this is the height of triangle ABC. We should not draw the related rectangle of triangle ABC this way. What is wrong with this? 
Think about it. Therefore, the area of triangle ABC is equal to half times base times height, which is equal to 24 square centimeters. Let's look at another example. The diagram shows a triangle KLM. Find the area of triangle KLM. Notice that there are two right angles. Let's look at one of them. This side KM of the triangle is perpendicular to the line that starts from the other vertex L. However, this height LO is not given, so we cannot use this to get our answer. Let's look at the other right angle. This side KL is perpendicular to the line that starts from the other vertex M. So, these are the base and height of triangle KLM. The grey part is not part of the base of triangle KLM. So this is the height and this is the base of triangle KLM. It is a good habit to label on the diagram the base and height of the triangle. So the area of triangle KLM is equal to half times base times height and we get 336 square centimeters. Now, go and try some questions on your own. Goodbye.